So yesterday on stream, we were doing some of the missions over on Verhunga Savannah, and I was really enjoying doing missions again and just kind of taking the focus away for a little bit of just constantly grinding for diamonds. And I mean, there's always the hope through doing missions that you kind of get led to potential diamonds just because of the fact that you're kind of going to other areas and doing things you don't necessarily always do. But it's nice to have a different ultimate goal for a little while, but anyway. Someone asked if I had done all the Leighton missions, and that reminded me that we're really close to having them all done. I'm kind of thinking there might only be three left. A lot of times there's ten side missions in each pack, and there's number ten for this one, and we're on number eight for this one, and actually just hearing that coyote, we need four coyotes down with a 60 pound bow, and I do actually have the bear claw with me, so if we can figure out where that one called from, we'll try to get it. And then the other mission for the elk is just a... Uh, I think any elk, down with a bow in heightened peaks at night, and that's this entire region up here, and I know they drink somewhere up along here, probably for another, like, hour-ish in-game, so I'm hoping we can get at least that done, and maybe start on the coyotes as well. Okay, so she must have crossed over there without me seeing her, but as long as she didn't actually spook, we can probably just bring her right back. And I know this Kaio one is going to be a pain, so anytime we can get close like this, like, into calling range and not spook them, I want to take the chance to try to bring them in and get them with the bow, because I feel like it's going to take us a while. Anytime I actually try to find coyotes, I really struggle with it, so finding them just without actually looking is going to be good. And the wind's fine. She's very vocal over there, but I don't think she should spook. Yeah, she's coming right in, and I mean, a level 1 female... As far as the mission is concerned, that's probably about the best thing we could find. I mean, I'd like to see a level 9 or whatever, but... Low difficulty for trying to get them in close for a bow shot is definitely nice. I'm a little worried. Yeah, she's getting good and close, just the grass was hiding her. But at that range, we can see her just fine with the light. And that's going to be one of the four, so... I was really worried about that mission going into this, but I kind of plan on worrying about it later to get even just one of them done now is going to be a huge time save I think. That's going to be everything we could ever ask for in terms of an elk with a bow mission at night. I mean, a giant herd of cows plus one bull that we'll try to get but I think we're going to have to go kind of back around here because with that much water, I don't know what they would do to try to come into the call but I think we're best trying to get on their side and just take a little detour and get in closer. He's not being the most cooperative, because we definitely could have shot a bunch of cows by now, but he is just now walking out where we can get a shot. So, I think we'll just take that right there. And at least a little more interesting than a level 1 female coyote, but that should get that done. And unless there's another line of missions that I'm just not aware of that maybe this unlocks, I think we're going to be down to just coyote missions for the remainder of this. But yeah, just a little silver at 236. And all I'm seeing is objectives complete and no more missions unlocked. So yeah, I think we're down to just coyote missions, which hopefully they're not too annoying after this one. But we might run around at night here a little bit and just see if any others show up. And if they don't, we'll try their drink time instead because it's a little bit later. At this point, I figure we're just best off trying to hunt their drink times because it's going to be more predictable. And there's actually a little pack of them here, including a mythical, which I'd really like to get if for nothing else, just respawns. But even still, getting a good sized gold like while doing these missions would be nice, so we're gonna try to get up there and call, and we'll see what comes in first. I don't really expect the mythical to be very close like compared to the other two, but even if we can get him like on the run or something, we might do that. Oh, there's one right there. Don't know which one he is. Oh, that's the mythical actually, all right. Please stay there, or at least don't get out of view. I can't believe he's the one that's here already. Must have just been kind of lucky positioning. I think he was probably getting ready to run. I actually haven't seen the other two. There's one running off there, so probably any others that were here would have spooked. But like I said, that's going to be cool for respawns. He's probably a lower end mythical 24.38 kilos, but hopefully he can come back as a good one. And... I definitely just heard something. I don't know if it was one like running off or what, but we'll kind of just sit still a minute. There's actually a lot of tracks here, so there must have been ones that we didn't see as well. But 
they're probably not going to come back. And especially at night trying to track them and get into bow range and stuff, I think it's going to be difficult. So we'll kind of save this place as one we can go back to in case we need it. But we'll try some other areas here. We have about 50 minutes in game until they stop drinking. So I want to try some spots they might already be rather than resetting the time and going back there. The thing is about these guys, like with it being dark, they're so tiny you can easily miss them. And I'm just like running around this end. I thought there were none here. I was going to go up to the next lake over here, but there is actually one over there, and the wind is kind of decent for this, so if we can get somewhere into the brush like over in here, I bet we can get that one into bow range. How the heck? She's literally that close. I don't understand how that happened. No idea where we just hit her, but I thought she was gone. I was looking at the time and everything. It's 3.21. Like, they should be out of here. I guess maybe we were far enough away like this brush wasn't rendering. And that's why I didn't think she was here because I thought she was more in the open. That's three. I really don't have a clue how we got away with that. That was really, really lucky. But I think there were a bunch back at that other lake in Chile, like up here. We'll reset the time and go back there and just hopefully get this one done. This actually has potential to save us a lot of time because if we can get her... There's actually two more drinking somewhere over there. I think, yeah, right in that area. And depending on what the next mission is, as long as we can shoot them, like, in this region, we're not going to be spooking them, and we might be able to just kind of get through mission number nine a little more quickly than this one. So we'll kind of see, but we got to get this one first, wherever she got to. She's kind of trying to get around us, though, in a spot we're going to have difficulty getting a shot, so... Just kind of alert her and get her there. We'll still take it slow just in case. Like, there could be other ones coming into that call as well. But we may even need another weapon, so we'll at least walk over here and get her. And I really hope, at the very least, like, this next mission is daylight. Or if we can do it just really quickly by uh, getting the two over there. But that is finally number four with the bow. Actually, with a hard shot and kind of pushing it. But, I mean, a flesh hit would bring them down pretty quickly. And that does unlock mission number nine, which is going to be Leighton Lake Short, Handgun, Heart Shot at Night. All right, well, unfortunately, neither of the things that I was hoping, but I think that is a pretty common area to find coyotes. So we'll back the time up about an hour, and hopefully we can do that quickly. Okay, she's coming in just perfectly. She had a warning call over here, and I was hoping she wasn't going to come in like up to this stuff, because it would be difficult to actually see to get a shot in there but I wanted to at least come out past this grass and hopefully stop, like, facing us. Just we have the best chance that actually just going straight through the heart. But naturally, I talked about not wanting her to go up there, and she went up there. So that's going to put, like, until she gets out past that brush, that's going to put her at 15 meters or something, so we're going to need to be ready. And I kind of expect to have to maybe step out of the brush and stop her. But we'll see what she does. I mean, we might be able to do it with a call. And right now, I don't even see her. Oh, I hear her, though. She is right there, and she's stopping. I can't see how that wouldn't be hard. We kept that really, really low. And it's a vital hit, so I really hope that's it. And it is. So I think we're on to the very last mission that we haven't completed on Leighton Lakes. And that is going to be time to get close. What do we have to actually do? Harvest a coyote down within 30 meters with a bow. They are really intent on having us use the bow, but where do we have to do it at? It's that area. I think they drink here. So I think we got to stay at night for our best odds, but 30 meters, we did most of our shots under 30 earlier. This might get a little bit problematic. I don't see any sign of coyotes drinking down here. I ran around the entire lake and there's no tracks or anything. There was a couple of blacktail resting that we spooked, but there's just nothing. And I'm kind of surprised because I know this lake is the focal point of other coyote missions as well. So I sort of assumed they would drink here and maybe they do and I'm missing something, but I sure didn't see any sign of any. So I think the next best step is to try their feed time like early morning between five and seven and see if we maybe can catch them either like traveling through here or 
Maybe they feed kind of like around it because they give you a pretty big range. So I guess we'll give that a shot, but I'm a little worried about this one now. Okay, finally. I don't care how long this takes. We're going to call that one in and hopefully get it because I was really starting to worry that there might not be any coyotes in this area because I was seeing no tracks, like no anything. But I'm hoping we can maybe get hidden... I don't want to go too far down that way because the wind's going to start to be bad. But maybe like in that tree and just get him under 30 meters and get him down because I was really, really wondering if we are going to be able to do this. I mean, he's alert, but he just has to come a little bit closer. The wind's not great, but it's okay. Like, he should be able to cover those last couple of meters and all we need is a few steps. As long as he kind of stays attentive and I don't want to call anymore because I want him to stay on that path. I don't want him to get to our right and get into our wind. He actually went all the way calm, but just a few more steps. I don't know why he's so intent on not taking more than one step at a time, but all right, he's under 30. Before anything catastrophic happens, I'm just going to step out here and the important part is we hit him. I think we're a little bit high there, but it doesn't have to be anything specific. He's going to go down because he's a coyote and it doesn't really matter where you hit them. They don't run very far. But I think as long as nothing got messed up there, down within 30 meters, we're well into the area. That should be the very last mission on Leighton Lakes completed. And we started this probably a year ago, like trying to go through the rest of the missions and uh, kind of finally getting to that now. That's like a halfway decent blacktail. Um, I don't know if we can get him super fast. This isn't an area that I'm really trying to do any kind of respawns, so I'm not too worried, but maybe he'll trot for us. And trot in a straight line would be nice. All right, so one little bonus skill, but let's just make sure all missions say completed. So I didn't actually see a Steam achievement. I think there's achievements for completing like all the different um, mission arcs so I may have missed it because I was looking at this but that's kind of cool get a random gold black tail for maybe respawn someday but yeah I actually enjoyed like I said just doing something different not having the goal so hyper focused on trying to get just diamonds all the time and there's always the chance you'll run into them but we actually got I mean a mythical coyote I know that seven is over there in Chilo that I'll probably shoot for respawns as well and honestly I found a couple of new coyote drink zones to kind of try out, so it might be interesting to try to get another diamond or rare coyote and do the other multi-mount, because we have the one with two coyotes fighting over a rabbit. Maybe we'll do the one with a coyote and some ducks if we can find something cool out of what we did today. But anyway, like I said, fun to do that, and maybe we'll do that with some more missions, but that is going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.